Welcome to Pro Stitcher Tutorials. I'm Kim Sandberg. I want to show you how to open an area that's been saved and also how to save that area. I'm also going to slide in a little bit about how to resize or rotate that area. So let's get started. On the screen, to open an area, we'll start by selecting the File tab. On the ribbon, the first three buttons open Libraries. We have a Design Library, a Workspace Library, and an Area Library, which is so fantastic. So we'll select the Area button on the ribbon and click Open. Look at all these great areas that are available. These are ones that would take quite a bit of time to make yourself, so let's take advantage of it. Let's open the 60 degree triangle area. So we'll tap on it to select it and then touch the open down here at the bottom. I now have that area loaded. You'll notice that it has a dashed line around it, which lets me know that this is not an area that I originally set. So to go in and modify this area, we need to select it first. So on the screen, let's select the area tab. From the ribbon, let's touch the select right here on the ribbon. That selects the area. You'll notice that the area has now turned green with a green dashed line. That lets me know that my area is selected and it's ready for me to modify pretty much in any way I can think of. So speaking of modifying, let's go to the Modify tab next. Select the Modify tab. And we can rotate, reposition, or resize our area. I want to resize this area, make it a little bigger. So let's select the Resize button from the ribbon. And in the sidebar, I want to lock my aspects. So I'll choose Lock first. And I have the width chosen, which is just fine. We'll, we'll keep everything the same as we resize. And I'm going to come down to this portion of the sidebar. And I want to make this actually eight inches wide. So I'll just click the plus until I hit eight inches. Oops, went a little too far. We'll go back. And then let's touch the refresh button down here in the bottom right of the screen so that I can see where it is. That looks really great. Now, I want to save my area. So let's touch the select in the workspace tools to deselect the area. And it turns pink. That lets me know that I'm no longer changing any aspects of my area. We'll select the file tab on the screen and choose save from the ribbon. On the drop down, I have two choices available. I can either save the workspace or the area. Since I don't have a design open, I just want to save my area. So we'll select area. My save file screen pops up here and down here at the bottom where my little pointer is, you can see that it says 60 degree triangle area. I don't want to give that the same name because I've, I've modified it. So we'll tap in that box and I have this keyboard pop up. I'll touch clear so I can give it a new name. And let's just call this triangle one. I'll be able to remember that one and we'll click on save. That design is now saved in my library. Let's clear all really quick and we'll do a quick refresher on how to open this, this area that I just saved. Once again, from the File tab ribbon, we'll select Area. We'll select Open. We'll scroll down until we find my triangle, which we titled Triangle 1. We'll select it, click Open, and now it's loaded and ready for me to use on my next quilting project.